How you doing everyone? Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> it is, what day is it? It is Thursday. Of course it's Thursday. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, been running around a little bit. Um, we've already had the first dropout in the stream. Fortunately, it was just in the, um, it was just in the countdown. So hopefully we'll be okay. This is getting ridiculous. I've really got to find out what's going on with it. Anyway, <laughs> um, today, today we are doing some creamy chicken noodle soup. But uh, nom, 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 nom. Hopefully. Well, it sounds nom. I haven't actually tried this recipe, so we're going to try it today. <laughs> um, if you haven't figured that out, a lot of the recipes we're doing these days is are ones that we haven't done before. So... Let's get that going. There we go. Now we've got some background music. Let's turn it down a little bit on my end. There we go. So, um, yeah, today, some creamy chicken noodle soup. We're gonna give that a go. <laughs> and uh, see if we've, see, ow. I was fighting with a, a shield last weekend and my knuckles are still a bit sore from it. Every now and then you just put them in a, in a certain way, just put them down and it's just like blinding. Anyway, that will teach me. <laughs> it will, honest. <laughs> right, so that's what we're up to today, doing some cooking. Um, we have oh, Classica. There is some Le Crusoe around the shop. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have our cast iron pot. Hey, Rach, how you doing? I know, right, Rach? Yeah. At least it was just in the countdown that it died it. Right. As far as I know, that's that's the only time it's dieted so far. Just that once. Oops, that wasn't the button I wanted. Bitrate still says it's good. <sighs> Come on, Twitch. It's not that early. Right? It's not even Monday. Um, so, as usual, Twitch safe, royalty free, no copyright music from Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. Put that in. Um, I'm not bad today. It's, um, I had an okay night's sleep. I've got a whole heap of stuff on the plan for the day. So, yeah, it's going to be another big day. Um, right, so what are we starting with? We are starting with butter. Butter, butter, butter. Now the recipe says 14 grams, but it's butter. <laughs> we're going to take a, a little chop off the end, and we're going to throw that in, because butter. How are you doing this fine day, Rach? Um, right, so we're putting the butter in. We need to carve up an onion. There is an onion around here somewhere. There we go. Ooh. Bit of rust on my knife. Interesting. Damn you, Rust. Damn you. We 
still playing. We are. Um, now, what are we doing? We are cutting all this stuff up. Ready to go in the pot. Use that bowl to just chuck it all in. Now, this is getting stewed, so I'm not worried about cutting it up into tiny little bits or anything like that. It'll just be nice bits of onion. Done. <laughs> So that was basically uh, cut the onion in half, lay it over, cut it in half again, a couple of cuts that way, throw it in the bowl, done. And that's pretty much all we're doing for the chopping. Um, celery we're going to do a bit finer, but not by much. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I think it was the um, chopping board was on the bowl and there was this ring every time I hit the board. Yep, there it is. I can hear that. I don't know if you guys can. So we're using three celery stalks, a whole onion. I'm going to use a couple of large carrots. Now, you can see there's still that little bit of green there. I don't want that little bit of green. I mean, you can have it. Like there's still, you can see this, that's more, you're getting away from the green line in that. The green line's not gonna hurt you. It's just where I tend to chop it. How you doing upright? Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Hey, we've still got your old music on this one. Your new music is on the other one. Again, we're just rough chopping these. I guess you'd go for the, we're going for the size of a part, mm, <laughs> of a partial mouthful, basically. Um, no, different computer. I'm using a completely different computer for this. This is the old computer, the one that, um, we had to update because it couldn't play a game and stream. Oh no, I did it today. I put your, your new sound on this morning. I put it through YouTube, I checked that it was all YouTube safe and all of that. Um, so tomorrow, if you drop in tomorrow, you'll get your new entry music. Garlic. Uh-oh. We're running a little low on garlic. It appears. I just assumed we would have enough. And you know what happens when we make an ass out of you and me? Yes, yes, now you have to watch me tomorrow. Oh, crap. Oof. And Ziggy. They know chicken's coming. They've heard the sound of the word chicken. <laughs> and they're in here waiting for it.
So again, the recipe calls for, for um, two garlic cloves. These are, I thought we had more. Some has obviously been used in my absence. <laughs> so we're, um, we're doing a little more just to see how much we've got. I think everything else in there is pretty much dead. Yep. Alright, well, oh, no, wait. There is one more. There's one more bit of garlic that we may be able to use. Temp, this house being out of garlic is just shocking. Cooking for cats. <laughs> right? Cooking for cats is, yes. Yes, that's a bit of garlic skin, buddy. You want the garlic skin? It's all yours. <laughs> Cats. Um, I've also found out there is a way to make the make the chatbot talk to each other, so that I'll have the can I can keep the the chatbot um, updated every now and then. So. see how that runs we might be able to get all the quotes and everything just directly over here which would be nice probably means I'm gonna to have to do a bit of bit of back and forth thing but we'll see we will see all right so there we go that's ready Throw that in there. Ta-da! Um, garlic. Give me food, human slaves. My cats. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, there we go. So while that's heating up, so what we're going to do is we're going to get that heated up. Then we're going to um, basically cook these um the veg until they're you know they're starting to soften a bit it'll take take a little while um then we're going to oh stir in a whole heap of other stuff so we need flour i just need to check right One cup of flour, I think. Yes, no, quarter cup. Quarter cup. Tiny bit. Not a whole cup, human cup. Human cup. Oof. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, there we go. Cup, quarter cup of plain flour. Uh, what else are we doing? Salt and pepper we got. Thyme and oregano. We'll get some of those. Thyme and oregano. We'll get them ready. Done. Alright, so we still need to chop up our potato. So while we're waiting for that butter to melt, we will peel and coarse chop our potato. Ready for the next section. Right, let's turn that up, get it going. Get it going. Get her up to heat. <laughs> Funny you should mention that as soon as the backpack of meat was opened, Kevin appeared. <laughs> or she heard me say chicken. Yeah. Oh, Kevin.
Right, look at that, done. Right, so we've got that, that butter bubbling away. Throw those veggies in and give it a bit of a stir. <laughs> All right. And I don't know, you should be able to see it, but the, can you see it? Maybe. Um, but the, the onion is starting to break up already, just from being stirred around. Which is pretty much exactly what we want. But that'll break up more as we go. Right, let's turn the heat down a little bit. And chop the potato. Again, we're just going for um, part bite size. The smaller you do these bits, um, the faster they'll cook. So it's up to you. I kind of like going for that size of um, you can stick a fork in it. <laughs> but this is just generic soup. Like, this is what I... This isn't the, specifically for this recipe that I'm cutting these to this size. This is generically the size I like to cut it to. Um as we go anyway for, for soups and so I like a bit of chunk in my soup if you don't if you like less chunk in your soup cut smaller bits I shall always now call it a man soup you can stick a fork in it <laughs> right right and turn that right now because that's starting to steam a little more than I would like so I want this to start softening the veg, just that little bit. Ta-da! So, what are you cooking today, Rach? That's right. I, I remember now. You were you were um, you were cooking as well. What's Rage cooking today? Oh, coffee drink. I'm going to self coffee drink. Oh, stroganoff. Nice. I haven't had stroganoff in a long time. I may have to cook some of that again. I remember when we did stroganoff for the for the show. Um, it was very. Um, what do you call it? It was very. Uh, Something, something dark side. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh yeah, we had the we had the um, noodles versus um, rice debate. Slow cooker straw. Yeah. Okay. See, thing is, I can't do a lot of um, slow cooker stuff on the show unless I'm going to make two of it. Because I, I could make it the night before, put it in the slow cooker, leave it just cooking for the six to eight hours that it needs to cook, and then prep the meal again in the morning <laughs> for the show and go, here's the one that I prepared earlier. Make two. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I could. I may have to, actually, because I'm, I'm really running out of recipes to do um, uh, in in this time in the time frame of the show so eh, do it <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> lasagna and bring the extra to you <laughs> lasagna is not in the oven for that long I don't think yeah, my lasagnas are. 
They are rich with cheese. Alright, let's see how that's going. Yep. So, the bit of celery still has that little bit of crunch to it, but as you bite it, you can feel it flex before it crunches. Beautiful. <laughs> right, so, ow. Thyme and oregano. So, thyme, how much thyme and oregano do we put in? Um, teaspoon of thyme. We've got thyme. Put in a teaspoon of thyme. Half a teaspoon of oregano. We're just going to guesstimate that. And put half of the teaspoon. <laughs> All right, let's get that stirred in. Oh, the aroma that just immediately comes off of spice as soon as it hits the heat is just, oh, I love it. Um, salt and pepper, put in some salt and some pepper. Again, this says a measurement for salt and pepper, okay? The recipe has um, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now, if you're new at cooking, do that, absolutely. Try the, try the, the actual measurement, see how that goes for you. Um, but if, you, if you're more of an old hand at cooking, just crank it in, you know how much you like. <laughs> Right, now the fun part. Now we put the flour in. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I want to do it through the sieve to get it um, a bit finer as it goes in so it's easier to, to spread. So I get that nice even coating without having to worry too much about uh, it clumping. All right, here we go. All right, now, we just let that heat that up. Kind of weird at the moment. Looks like there's a batter on it because there kind of is, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's coming through the camera very well. But it's there. Looks clumpy, but the bread, the the flour is clumped over everything, which is what we actually want. Turned out putting it over the uh, through the sieve was a good idea. Um, <laughs> Rach, I just thought I'd better cook off the mushrooms because they're so wet. I don't know, I'm new at this and doing many guessing. Look, cooking the excess water off of mushroom is always something I do. Um, so yeah, upright, cook the mushrooms for a while, they release a bunch of water and shrink a bit and get all lovely and tasty. Yeah, it does condense the flavour. Um, upright, I'm playing some Stardew on Switch because I have to lay down. Stardew! Uh, should throw the onion in the pan as well or just chuck it in the mix? Um, depends how soft you want it. Um, I wouldn't chuck it in directly with the... Um, uh, yeah, you could chuck... Actually, you could chuck it in with the... Um, uh, with the mushrooms. That wouldn't be a problem. You start getting that little bit of caramelized with it too, which is nice. Brown the meat already, nice. 
<laughs> buy before plan. You have a buy before plan. Alright. Look at that. That's only half of it. All I'm doing at the moment is I'm just scraping the, the flour off the bottom. Two cups of chicken broth. Well, two cups. Eight lit. Two liters. Eight cups. Oh my god. <sighs> See, I like to cook. I like to cook the onion. Uh, cook the garlic with the onion. I like. I really. I don't mind that. The garlic is that little bit extra cooked. I kind of like that. That extra. I don't know if you call it extra flavor. But it's definitely extra, um, uh, extra ness. <laughs> We're going to call it extra ness. All right. So we've put the eight cups of, what's that called? Chicken stock in. And we are now putting the potato in as well. I'm just giving that a stir up. Going to up the temperature now because we've just put in a heap of cold stock. <laughs> so we now want to bring this to the boil. We we'll leave it there. We bring it to the boil. So we're turning, cranking it up. Um, then we're going to boil it for a little bit, and then we're going to allow it to simmer for a little while. And while that while that simmers, we'll. Um, We'll start prepping the next bit, but we are currently um, out of veggies. We're done with the veggies. We will be going on to the meat. To the meat quotient. I tell you what, Rach. I I'm pretty sure this was your idea, but I absolutely love. I'm loving the color coded um, chopping boards. I don't know why it, it, it hasn't changed my cooking um, or the way I cook or anything like that I mean I know it's more food safe but that's that's for actual food safe cooking <laughs> who does food safe at home seriously I mean come on um, but I'm really I am really enjoying the different colored boards there are many other different colored boards and I kind of want to get them all <laughs> we'll see Yeah, I love my fry pans. I've got one more to get to have the set. Um, oh, it's going to be so nice to have all three of them. <laughs> but yeah, um, fry pans. Uh, uh, Rach, I do cook a lot for the family these days, so I want to get one of those fry pans that's got higher straight sides, like a shallow, wide saucepan almost. I don't know. That would be a, that would actually be an upright question. The difference between us, I think, a skillet is a shallow fry pan, but it's shallower. Or it might just be that that's a, a different cultural name for the same piece of kit. I don't know. Um, upright would likely know. <laughs> hey, upright, check chat. <laughs> All right. Um, he doesn't seem to be listening. If he is listening, he's ignoring us. So skillet v fry pan. Let's find out. There are no distinguishable differences between skillets and frying pans. The only difference is the name of the cooking device. Yeah. Pan is a general term given to a variety of cooking vessels. With that, a frying pan is a shallow cooking vessel used to fry up foods. 
Okay, that's according to Debaya USA. I think Debaya is a is a maker. So yeah, sounds like it's just um, sounds like it's uh, it's just. Oh, here he is, upright. He's here. Hey, Jim Toy, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, basically the same. Both are pretty shallow, but you can get ones with taller walls. Ah, there you go. Upright was listening. Yay! <laughs> um, right, you go. Well, that's the one with deeper walls. Yep. And a lid. <laughs> yes, a fry pan lid. Yes. Um, I'm pretty sure my stock pot lid fits my fry pan. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Oh no. <laughs> um, I also, I have occasionally used the wok lid to, to put a lid on my fry pan. <laughs> but yeah, the one, the big one that I usually use on stream, um, that does enough for like one and a half, um, it does enough filling for one and a half lasagnas. It's a really good fight there. Um. That's this beastie. Bigger than my head. <laughs> um, yeah, it's about 35, 36 centimeters wide and probably about 10 or so centimeters deep. It is a great propane. I love it. Yeah, Jim Toy, absolutely. Any lid that fits. <laughs> uh, upright, for something different, check out the Sunbeam Secret Chef. It's a 5.5 litre slow cooker, but had a browning function, so you can cook all in it and you can remove the pot easily. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's that? What's the brand of ours? Uh, mine's a Westinghouse. My slow cooker's a Westinghouse. So, hmm. I don't know if it has a browning function though. But there are two in the house, so we can't. I can't really justify buying another one. <laughs> really can't justify it. It's just no. Sorry. I've got other things I need to buy first. Ooh, Rachel's is a Breville. Nice. I found the Westinghouse one, the, the electric element part of it um, tends to get cruddy in a hurry and it's, it's kind of difficult to clean, um, but the, um, but yeah, so, but it was, it was cheap enough, it works well enough, um, the, the stuff doesn't stick to the bottom, so it's all good. Rach, yours was your mum's. Yours, mum, mine was the smaller one, and it was from Kmart. Yeah, fair. Oh no! Why did you heave all yours out, Jim Tor? You've got to have a slow cooker. Come on, team slow cooker. <laughs> it died though. It switched off when it got hot. Oh, well, yeah. Look, if, if it's broke, throw it out. Sure. <laughs> Oh, the recipe specifically says at this point, you're not meant to stir it to get it to boil. And it's doing my heading. I stir everything. <laughs> Say that any way you want. <laughs> it's what you have an oven for. But it's different. <laughs> it's different. I gotta get me a pressure cooker one of these days. I gotta do some pressure cooker food again. Get a campfire. <laughs> Look, the last thing I cooked over a campfire was was rocks. It was iron ore rocks. Oh, come on, keep going, you silly stream.
we have the sister Ash just got a pressure cooker and once she's stopped being terrified she discovered she loves it excellent that's what we like to see uh, I don't think we dropped out there we dropped a few frames we'll see go it's fine it's fine <laughs> Yeah, the, the last thing I cooked on a campfire was rocks, so that we could make iron. <laughs> okay, okay, I browned the meat, cooked down the mushies, and the onion garlic, and added it all to the pot, and I even used a bit of sauce to deglaze the pan. Good call. Because I feel fancy. Ooh, fancy. You use the fancy term of deglaze. <laughs> Make a cup of coffee and stir that to help you feel better. Ah, thanks, Rach. I can feel the stirring goodness. <laughs> ah, stirring goodness. Okay, so. Boil! Oh, there's a little, little bit. Can you see that on stream? I can just see it on stream. Well, oh, there's two bits. Two little boily bits. <laughs> One boily bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, stretch. Okay. Whew. Boy. Ow, my pancreas. Stretch is getting better. At Pilates, I can almost get my shoulders, like, I can almost get full 90 degrees without rotating my hips. It's awesome. I'm getting so much flexibility back in the spine. Thank you for the stretch up, right? Basically, the entire meal is cooked. It just needs to tenderize. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> there are so many things, Rach. Absolutely. Ah, uh, and it's just like, do I go this side? Do I go there? Do I no, wait, that was last recipe. Now I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, boiling. It's boiling. <laughs> um, yeah, I, especially now that it's winter, I should be doing slow cooking all over the place. Ooh, I might do an ossobuco. I might do a nice, long, slow cook ossobuco. That could be good. All right, we have boiling. Excellent. We leave that to boil for a little while. So we're leaving this boil for a couple of minutes. <laughs> See, you looked away and the boiling pot boiled. See, so thank you for looking away, Jim Tor. You know, <laughs> by looking away, you made it boil. Thanks for your work. Loving your work. <laughs> All right, so let's turn that down. And then we partially cover it. And we let that simmer away. We'll keep an eye on it, but we are leaving that simmering for... 20, whoa, 25 minutes. So we're going to set a timer. Oh, look, it's already pretty much there. Uh, it was 20, was it 25? It was 25. So we let that simmer into it for 25 minutes or until it's, um, the potatoes are soft, basically. <laughs> In the meantime, Um, we are going to cut up some chicken. Where are you? There you are. So we had some of this for dinner last night. Oop, now it's falling out of the bag. 
So we are going to take a breast. Now is when, if Ziggy finds out that we've got the chickens, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting day. All right. Now, because A, I bought the chicken, and B, I'm the one recooking the chicken, I get to eat all the skin. <laughs> That's about a hundred grams, a little over a hundred grams. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Peeling the chicken. Almost threw that in the uh, in the compost. Oops. Hmm. Ah. Save that stuffing for later. Make a wish. All right, here we go. We're going to make a wish. Your side, my side. Uh, ah. <laughs> I get the wish. <laughs> That was not planned. I wish for 400 followers. <laughs> oh, hello, Ziggy. You finally figured it out, did you? Yeah. Ah, there's four. Oh. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to leave a little bit of chicken off to the side. We're going to give the kitties some treats. Red Pegasus, thank you for the follow. Doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Oh, 306. <laughs> All right. Ziggy will fight everybody for the chicken, I tell you. Yep, that's a nice rolling simmer. Now, because these are free range chickens, we keep the bones um, for 
obviously. I'm gonna keep that. We keep the bones for stock. It's been a while since I made chicken stock. I don't know. Hopefully I'm back. As far as I can tell, I should be on. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I really am. Pain in the butt. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Anyway, here we are. Feeding chicken to the cats while we wait. Wait. <laughs> She's deaf, so she can't hear me calling her to get more food. Poor thing. <laughs> yeah, I heard you come running. No. You don't get any more chonk. So chonks along. <laughs> Fred Pecker says finally made it. Yay! Yeah, I figured that was you. <laughs> no, Ziggy. I'm waiting for the. Oh, Alright. Because it's Ziggy. Sucker am I. Uh huh. No patience at all. Because <sighs> it's you. Ziggy's the old girl, so she gets extra special treats. <laughs> extra special treats. But I don't want to play with this soup. Alright. Let's see how that potato's going. Let's see if we can find a bit. There's a bit. There's another bit. Huh. Ah. Oh, holy crumb. Oh, that is really hot. But, more importantly, it's soft. So we're going to take that out. Um, that only took 10 minutes. Because the recipe says cook it for up to 25 minutes or until the potatoes have softened. So those potatoes have softened. So now we're just going to have a, we're going to have a taste of the broth for it. Soup! Uh, reconnection. Okay. I don't know where we lost that, so we're going to start again. Um, you can fry up chicken breasts if you want. Um, from scratch, but in this household we don't go through a whole roast chicken. I really like roast chicken um, Weird sound I really like roast chicken um, and um, Always looking for ways to use the leftovers <clears throat> Right so we want one cup of milk You'll make it more creamy. <clears throat> Didn't mean that to stop. All right. I don't know why chicken soups need to be white, but they all are. It's weird. Well, what about the carrots? The ca if the taters are done, the carrots will be too. But let's check. Kintor wants the question answered. The question gets answered. Mmm. Just that little bit. Just that tiny bit of enough firmness to hold it together. There's just enough firmness to hold it together. For the carrots. <clears throat> So there you go. <laughs> um, oh, I should stop eating that. All right. Um, now, 
about 150 grams. We didn't have, we wanted, the recipe calls for egg, flat egg pasta. And I could not find it anywhere. So we're just using some noodles. I'm just gonna put four cups of noodles in there. Now this is, of course, going to, yeah, that was a little over half the bag. Um, this is, of course, going to suck up some of the fluid in there, which is fine. Now we just let that simmer away. And then we're done. We let that simmer until the noodles are cooked. And then we have a meal. <laughs> you like all the noodles, but angel hair pasta is good too. The original recipe for this called for like the little flat, uh, little flat square sheet square, square sheets of egg pasta, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm, I'm just going with elbows, because elbows. I do like the little elbows, because um, they tend to, um, especially when you got a thicker sauce, they tend to um, hold the sauce in the middle, which is um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> So, yeah. Now that we have all the ingredients in there. So this, in theory, you could just add, a, probably add a little more flour, um, maybe some cornstarch, and you could turn this, like, you could make this really thick if you wanted to. Rachel, I really like big shells because they're good at holding sauce, but I hate cooking them. They always seem to take 20 hours. Uh-huh. Man soup! <laughs> it's the man soup! I may have to do another stream where we do a lasagna. I have to do another lasagna <laughs> on stream. Oh no. <clears throat> you like pasta, not 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 what Aussie wheat does to your stomach. Ah okay. Is that a gluten thing or something else? And there are other kinds of pasta. We should experiment with that. We should get some like spelt pasta and stuff and just cook them up and see what do taste random taste tests. <clears throat> we should try a gluten free pasta. See if we can find a decent tasting gluten free pasta. That'd be interesting. Back in sleeping. <laughs> Jim, I think so. This is why I like two minute noo noo. Two minute noo noo. <laughs> I tell you what, if you want to really fill up on two minute noodles, get broth. Right? Instead of putting boiling water in there, boil up some broth and use the broth to cook it. You will go, it, it is actually, it's a lot better for you. Not stock, broth. Um, you put broth in it and um, you so much better for you anyway but um you will be full so much faster it's insane <clears throat> okay cap thanks for dropping in thanks for hanging out good to see you <clears throat> come on heating heating we want the al dente noodles noodles
They are not al dente. <laughs> Uh, right, you've got whole grain, whole grain two-minute noodles. I didn't even know they were a thing to try because trying to be responsible and whatever, and the kids and I are not impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whole grain is is definitely a different flavour. <laughs> Well, it's not far from ready. Once these noodles are ready, we'll be we'll be giving it the taste test. The taste test. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like noodles is one of the those things you eat not to be healthy. I think instant noodles, and well, instant anything <laughs> is pretty much what you eat to not be healthy. Um, but noodles in themselves can be quite healthy. Gar ram into webs. All right, and we're back again. Ooh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we've got it up to a simmer. Make sure those noodles aren't sticking to the bottom. Damn, this is starting to get some chunk about it. Boop. All right, give me a noodle. We want a noodle. Um, the soggy was already here, Jim Tol. Yeah, that's been and, been and gone. But there's meant to be a, a ton of soggy um, over the next few days. So I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. <sighs> At the risk of, like, totally blowing this out again. Um... Let's, we're still, why are we still unstable? Stuff you're unstable. Um, let's see, I'm gonna regret this. Um, wow. So we've had one, two, three, four dropouts so far. <sighs> New cable it is. Um, I thought, Pegasus, I thought it was supposed to hit this afternoon and clear up tomorrow. Um, yesterday, they said a couple of days. Whoop, turn that up a bit high. <clears throat> Has the bomb changed their mind today? Entirely possible. Yes, we got the new modem range. Absolutely. Finally, we got the new motor. Um, I may be looking for another internet provider shortly though, because really not happy with these guys anymore. <laughs> Killing it with the ads today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's very nearly ready. <laughs> So all this time, Ziggy has been sitting on the, at the side of the counter, just waiting for more chicken. Yeah, sorry about the ads. Ah! Alright. 
No. <laughs> And that was the alarm saying there's 25 minutes and we need to put the rest of the stuff in. Man! Well, I don't know if you can see that, but as I move it, look at that. Just all the ingredients are just, it's so chock-a-block full of things. That it really is just, God. Because it's got milk in it, it won't freeze for very long, but it will still freeze for a couple of months. At the same time, I was looking at my phone like, what did I do? <laughs> so, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's turn that off. Let's get a nice bowl and a ladle. ladle. All right, let's clean up the workspace a little bit. So that we can take pretty, 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 pretty. You got a pretty food. Ah, it appears the chop camera has also seized. Whoa, that was not the right, <laughs> that was not the right, uh... there we go, and clean, ta-da, <laughs> all right, serving, serving the soup. Damn, I think we need some more soup. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is a good looking soup. Take a photo. Take a photo. All right. That is a good looking soup. Do that magic on your prep space? Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. Damn it. You can see the cleany lines. Yeah, it's not much better. Soup. You know what I should have had? I should have had some crusty bread. I don't have any crusty bread. Shad fish. Now, also, I probably could have put all those noodles in there. That would not have been a bad thing, I don't think. Let's just say, we had a spoon around here somewhere. All right, the taste test. Here we go. <laughs> mm. So hot. Okay. There is something in there. What the hell is... <laughs> Very hot. The thyme and the oregano, 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 that, that just add this really, really nice um, taste behind it all. Everything in here is just like, oh my God, this is deluxe, but man soup I'm actually thinking that I don't need to add any more salt or pepper as well 
So, but like I can I can still taste that salt and pepper. Um, that it, it's less than my palate I would normally like with my palate. Um, but with everything else that's going on, I'm really feeling like I don't need to do it. Um, not a lot. I'll use them separately. Um, but not often together. Hmm. I mean, I have both of them in the cupboard, so <laughs> I'm using them. Oh, so chunky. I'm just going to talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah, it's like sometimes you get more thyme, sometimes you get more oregano, sometimes you get a bit of both, and it's really it really changes like the the flavour of it nearly every bite. But then you've got the the flavour of the noodles, the flavour of the chicken, and all of that. That's all still there. Oh, I have fresh thyme out in the garden. Absolutely. Joys of chunky soups, right, Tim Tor? Absolutely. This though, I can see rolling thunder, lightning, windows open, crackling fire, just going nuts and just sitting in the land room watching all of that, eating this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to divvy this up into servings, I think. This is ridiculous. And it's so quick. Oh, just got a giant chunk of chicken. <laughs> um It is so quick to make this. Because I'm so not practiced at making this. Like most of the recipes I do. Uh, you mind if I kiss the monkey? Mwah. Ooh, hairball. And there's the coffee drink. <sighs> hey, Don Kiki, welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Go oh. on. Ah. Just in time for the taste testing. <laughs> Go the taste test. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm enjoying the hell out of this man soup. go-to vegetarian soup which is the potato and leek but oh this bad boy hell yeah this is not good for anyone if you've got like gluten gone meat gone <laughs> you have to be an omnivore to eat this one Twitch. I don't know why. We're going to have to figure this out. We're going to have to have Viking up for a couple of years and go, Dude, what are we doing? Why is this doing this to me? He's probably going to say, You need to buy a new computer, dude, <laughs> for your cooking stream. Oh, God, why? Oh, well. 
Jim Tor, uh, just sub. No, no, just before serving, let sit to cool and noodle cooked. Hang on. I think there was meant to be talk there. Um, hang on a sec. Did it not do the thing? Oh, did not do the thing. Okay. Who knows? I don't know. Before serving, just sit and call them and noodle cooked. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Kiki had tech issues. Yeah, I had tech issues. We've all had tech issues. Tech issues for you. Tech issues for you. Tech issues for everybody. Um, what did you miss? You missed me having tech issues. <laughs> That's literally what you missed. Um, yes, yes, I'm trying to be Oprah. Uh-huh. No, I, I give tech issues to everybody. <laughs> I'm not selective on who gets my stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, there we go. That was... That was creamy chicken soup. Creamy, uh, creamy chicken noodle soup. Yes. Um, so there we go. ta -da. We should probably, so that is going to be our stream for the day. Hopefully this will hold out long enough for us to, um, uh, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Oh, we're going to go see if we've got someone to raid. That's what we're going to do. Let's go find someone to raid. Is... Hey, Nightmare is on playing No Man's Sky. Excellent. And how long has he been playing? He has been playing for an hour 48. Yeah, so he's got a bit to go. That's okay. Oh, and he's, of course, he's at B right back. <laughs> uh, oh, shush, be quiet. All right, there we go. So he's at a B right back screen. We'll raid him when he comes back. But yeah, so um, coming up, what have we got coming up? We have got um, tomorrow. We're back playing Valheim with Warden. We're in the Ashlands where... Uh, Trying to get through the Ashlands and figuring out what's going on. We have a new a new thing. We're gonna we're about to get stone um, uh, transporters, which is like, oh my god, thank god. Um, <laughs> we're about to get those. Um, what else have we got going? Um, I think that's everything for that. Uh, then we go around to Tuesday, where we will be doing a we'll be doing some more Baldur's Gate three. Uh, we also, we've, we haven't got much to go. I don't know how many more sessions, but um, we haven't got a lot more to go in regard to um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we haven't got a lot going in regard to a lot left in regard to the storyline. So we're doing that. Then Wednesday we're back for some more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which we're getting through. Where what is it, 65%, a little over 65% complete with that. Um, we'll probably play Revelations immediately after when we finish that one. Um, then we come back around to Thursday where we'll be cooking again, cooking again. Have no idea what we're going to be cooking next week. Um, so, if you do have any ideas for a recipe you would like me to try, um, feel free to throw, them, throw me a, a DM or throw it up in Discord, uh, which the link just came up. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, 
scroll down, there's a link to the Discord in there. If you're watching on YouTube, make a comment on YouTube for a recipe you'd like me to try. Um, just do please remember, I am allergic to chili and eggplant, so if they cannot be removed from the recipe, I won't be doing that recipe. Um, but yeah, so that's what's coming up, that's what's going on. Thank you everyone for joining us and hanging out. We're going to go do a raid on Nightmare, because I like, while I'm cleaning up the kitchen, I do like watching him play, um, play No Man's Sky. Uh, it's not apostrophe, it is slash raid. So we're going to go raid Nightmare. I think I spelled that right. Did I spell that right? Invalid username. Oh, whoops. Um, hang out for the raid. Go on, you know you want to. Let's try that one. What? Oh, there we go. We are raiding. We are raiding. <clears throat> Let's go raid Nightmare. Um, so, thank you everyone for joining us, thank you for hanging out, thank you for just being you. Um, we will hopefully see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for some more Valheim. If we don't, we'll see you when you see it. Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye! That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over! Don't forget to check the description for any links I may have left there. If you like the video, Please press like or subscribe to my channel. Next video in the series is up here. Until then, stay safe, have fun.